Hello again. We are going to continue with the study of angles. We just got done looking at the parts of an angle, and now we're going to look at the different types of angles. And just remember that an angle is formed by two rays with a common origin, which is the vertex. So where the angle begins is the vertex. We have two sides and we have our size. Depending on the size of the angle, it will have a special name and that's what we're going to look at today. So the size of the angle will dictate the name of the angle. So I'm going to start here with my two rays on top of each other. I'm just going to draw a reference line here that we may need a little bit later. And I'm going to open this angle a little bit, color in the size, and I've created an acute angle. Acute angle. Well, I can open it a little more, color in the size. I still have an acute angle. I could even open it some more. Color in the size. Still have an acute angle. Now, I'm going to use this right angle measure to show you what a right angle looks like. Here is my right angle. Okay? My right angle. I'm going to put a line here just to show you where that black line is. We formed a right angle. I'm going to go beyond the right angle, open up my size some more, and now we've created an obtuse angle. So, acute angle, acute angle, acute angle, double check my measurement, yep, right angle, and now we are at an obtuse angle. I open it a little bit more. This is also an obtuse angle. I'm going to open it to form a straight line. Continue that first line I started. When two angles form a straight line, it's called a straight angle. So there's our straight angle, and I'm going to color all that in. Obtuse angle, obtuse angle, obtuse angle, obtuse angle, straight angle. We're going to go beyond a straight angle now. I'm going to color it in. And we've just formed a reflex angle. Here's our reflex angle. Color it in some more. Reflex angle. Color it in some more. Still got a reflex angle. I'm going to go all the way back. Color this all in. And when we've gone all the way around, we have formed a whole angle. A whole angle. So, just to review, acute angle, 
acute angle, acute angle, right angle, that's our right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, hmm, when I have two right angles, look what I get, right angle, right angle, interesting. Reflex angle, still a reflex angle, still a reflex angle until we get back to where we started, and then we've got the whole angle. For the next part of this lesson, I just want to tell you a little story and I want to show you a piece of Montessori material that will help us to better understand what constitutes these different angles. I'll be right back. Okay, so as I told you, these angles that we've um, named, the different types of angles, um, are named because of the measurement of the angle itself. So I want to talk about that for a few minutes. I want to just tell you uh, where this came from. Uh, there was an ancient civilization of people called the, the Sumerians. And they were one of the first people to study um, astronomy and one of the first people to study the stars. They were a very, very organized people. They kept records of crops. They kept records of the seasons and so on. They kept these records on clay tablets and they had devised instruments to measure just about everything they needed. So the Sumerians were very interested in the sun, the moon, and the visible planets, and the stars in the sky. And as they studied these stars, they began to recognize that the position of many of the stars that they saw moved a little bit every night. They noticed that each night the stars in the constellations they were looking at were in a slightly different position in the sky than they were the night before. So someone Somebody decided, and I like to say that on the day that that person decided to do this, they were the smartest person in the world. Someone decided to choose a particular star and chart its position every night. So every night, the people went out and they looked at where that star was in the sky and they made a mark to show where the star was every single night and that star moved every single night a little bit for a little bit of a different position from the night before and as they kept making these marks charting where the star was every night they came to realize that over the course of a year, the positions formed a complete circle. And they realized when they counted up the marks, and I'm just going to take these off, when they counted up the marks that formed a complete circle, there were 360 marks. And they came to realize that a circle has 360 marks in it, 360 small portions. That circle is divided into 360 degrees. Every circle has 360 degrees, and we still use that same system for measuring these angles and we use the Montessori protractor. This Montessori protractor as you can see starts at the number zero and goes all the way around goes to 340 
And if we were to count all these marks from 340 up to zero, we would see that we get to 360. So this circle has been divided into 360 degrees. Don't confuse degrees in a circle with measuring the temperature outside. Those are two different scales. So now we can look at our angles that we had measured before and dictate the measurement that tells what the angle is. In other words, however many degrees that are inside that angle is the type of angle it is. So we started with an acute angle. I'll put this back down real quick and review that and let me pop this back in. Review that when we started moving we had formed acute angles all the way up to our right angle. So our acute angle is any angle that is less than 90 degrees. Acute angle, any angle that's less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. And if we were to again look at our Montessori protractor, here's zero and between 80 and 100 is 90. As we move beyond 90 degrees and we form obtuse angles, we realize that an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. And we keep going until we form our straight angle. And if you remember before, I showed you that two right angles equal a straight angle. Well, if a right angle measures 90 degrees, what do two right angles measure? Don't use your fingers. A straight angle measures 180 degrees. So we're moving beyond our straight angles, straight angle, I'm sorry, and we formed our reflex angle. So that means our reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees. I'll take this off because I said to you before, when we come all the way around, we've made a full circle. We've got a whole angle. We've got a whole circle. Our whole angle measures 360 degrees. There you have it, the measurement of angles. Thanks for watching and have a great day.